spotlight feature video for you today on the folks at Soil Regeneration Unlimited. Well, the Curse Buster is actually a uh, tool which has evolved out of early experiences in the early 80s with a technology that was uh, created in New Zealand in the, cent in the uh, mid-70s. Okay. It was done there to promote pastures and uh, avoid having to plow up pastures and start over again. And it was very successful. A company in, uh, based in the U.S. but international in scope actually bought the rights to it in 1983, came to the States, got altered, and all that's recorded on my website at uh, www.soilcursebuster.com. And I found out about the change which they brought about in the technology about 10 years after the fact. And when I found out and I saw what it was doing to soil, I was just like, what happened to this machine? This is, this is not the same machine. And that's a long story which I relate on the website. But long, long story short, I knew that the original geometry which was embodied in the New Zealand invention had been discontinued. Sure. And I had to do something about it. In fact, I was charged from on high. Bring back the technology. Put in the correction is what I was actually told. And so I began that job of reconstructing what the original geometry was and bringing it back to the market so that people who owned other products that had been altered could actually put the original tines back on that vertical tillage tool. With the changes that were brought about in 1988, the ability to fracture soil, regardless of what the animated video shows, mm -hmm. went away. And it actually compacted soil. And it's evident because you can literally pour water from any source into the perforation in the soil and watch it sit there and stare at you. This geometry, when it works in soil, basically fractures soil all around the tine insertion, removes no soil, displaces no root systems, and when you put water in the soil, it diffuses uniformly in all directions. Which is why I'm excited about being in Wisconsin this week at uh, WPS Farm Show, because there's a lot of water being applied in Wisconsin, not just out of the heavens, but out of manure tankers and sure. drag hose operations. And so it gets really exciting to watch guys in light of the fact that Wisconsin, like most other states, has a very serious groundwater contamination problem and from time to time they have a serious runoff issue. So somehow we have to do something with technology for applying animal waste so that it's dealt with biologically and uh, physically or soil physics wise so that water from manure is no different than good behaving rainfall or precipitation. First thing they do is realize after about one season they don't need any other tools, <laughs> okay? And the other thing they realize is that because of the very extensive root system response they see from plants, they don't really worry about trafficability. Uh, the root systems, all plants, have a quote-unquote normal root system behavior. And that develops a particular pattern. And when you see that pattern being altered, then you know there is some physical problem that's associated with the distortion of the root system. And when you use this kind of tool and you actually go out there with a shovel, a very helpful diagnostic tool, and you find these very normal looking root systems, you can pretty safely conclude that what you've been doing is very good for the physiology of the whole plant because the root system is the foundation of it all. Probably the most exciting element of this is the fact that this is a tool which actually creates soil health. And so far, and pretty much largely truly. Machinery and equipment for tillage has been characterized as a source of soil health degradation. Our company is called Unlimited because of the fact that once I've seen after 35 years of using this in terms of development of the soil health and the capacity to produce and be vibrantly profitable, I don't know what the limit is. So we called it unlimited because that's our state of mind. It's, it's where it's at. Um, phone number, of course, is in Indiana. It's on the website, address is there. Uh, give me a shout. We've got 70 machines in the field over the last six years. We would love to tell you where one is in your area. And um, hopefully you'll get a chance to talk to somebody that's been enjoying it and he'll tell you all the trials and tests and, and the successes.